Hi, I'm Sean Gannon. This is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about one step in inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, n over 3 is greater than 3. Well, my first step is to get n by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a positive 3. What that does is it eliminates the 3 on the left, giving me n by itself. n is greater than 3 times 3, which is 9. So we have n is greater than 9. N by itself is isolated. Fantastic. That's great. So we have n is greater than 9 right there. But now I need to rewrite this, or sorry, make a graph that matches this, right? So we make a graph here. Start with 9. And we have 9. Let's go by 2s. 11, 13, 14. Oh, that's not like 2, Sean. 15, get rid of the odds. 17. And then we have 7, 5, and 3. Okay? So if I want to graph n is greater than 9 here, greater than 9, I have an open circle, because it's not equal to, open circle at 9, and the greater than sign puts the arrow to the right. So you have greater than 9, open circle, greater than 9, arrow to the right, and there we are. That graph matches the inequality of n is greater than 9. So let's recap. We're given n over 3 is greater than 3. I multiply by 3 to both sides to get n by itself, which left me with n is greater than a positive 9. When I graph that, I made my number line, and it chose to go by twos, except right there, and let's put a 14, or I did, and then I erased it. Um, so I have an open circle here, and set of an equal to sign, because it's not equal to 9, it's just uh, greater than 9, so I have an open circle there at 9. And then the arrow goes to the right, because n is greater than 9, so it goes to the right to the values that are greater than 9. And so this graph matches my final answer, which is n is greater than 9.